Hi everyone, thanks for joining me in this uh, third installation of Behind the Scene of 3D Virtual Set Production. My name is Michael, I'm from Spring Flower Studio. I'm actually in this uh, uh, guest room at our studio. This is actually a physical set. And joining me today is also Derek. Hi Derek. Hello, hi Michael. Hello everybody. Nice to meet you. E meet you. Just like any other live webinar, mm -hmm. usually uh, there will be question and answer. So let me ask the questions and Derek will be answering. Hi Derek, let me ask you two questions. First question is, since you have joined us in early uh, 2021, can you share with us your experience at Spring Forest Studio? Uh, my experience here will be quite different, I would say, because uh, prior to joining Spring Forest Studio, I was actually working uh, at an events company. So that was uh, where we had a lot of physical events going on as compared to a different virtual event. So once I came over here, right, um, because at, at the start when I got to know you, Michael, I know Spring Forest Studio were working a lot on uh, VMAX's virtual studio set. And now that I'm here, I saw I see that um, Spring Forest Studio has actually grown to produce 3D productions. And in recent times, we have moved on to getting tracking cameras so that we can track our speakers, our hosts in a 3D world, which is a totally different kind of experience. And I see the growth there in Spring Forest Studio. It's wonderful to be here. Thank you, Derek. The second question I'm going to ask you is this. Uh, you have uh, done a lot of physical events before yep. as, a, as a planner and now you're also uh, uh, a webcast producer at uh, Spring Forest Studio. Can you share with us uh, what is the difference between a physical event and a, a virtual event? Um, I would say that in a physical event, right, the guests actually get to interact with each other physically. You know, they can network, they can talk and they see each other face to face. But in a virtual event, um, the pros of it is that number one, it's more cost effective as compared to a physical event due to the fact that you do not have to go to the large scale uh, um, event venues, you don't have to spend um, the budget over there. The second thing that I would uh, think is different is that um, you can actually get to bring in, or I would say teleport our remote speakers from any part of the world, no matter where they are at, into the studio. That is a very amazing thing that I, I think uh, Spring Forest Studio can do. And of course, uh, one more thing that I can think of is um, the engagement because, you know, uh, we, we Spring Forest Studios are actually very, um, we specialize in 3D production. And 3D production in these times, you know, the demand of it has gone very, very high. People are very attracted to 3D productions because it's many steps higher as compared to a normal one. So I would say that's the key difference between a physical one and a, and a virtual event. Thanks, Derek, for sharing. So in, as you can see, in, a, in the virtual production itself, uh, in a 3D virtual set, there are many ways of actually uh, increase or improve the quality of the productions. Uh, augmented reality is actually one of the uh, cutting edge technology that we can actually deploy mm -hmm. for this type of productions. So what are the... Uh, augmented reality applications that we can see in the virtual web, uh, world itself. As you, as you can see, we actually have the Spring Flowers logo on the floor. Mm -hmm. Now, this is actually an augmented uh, reality object. It is not real. It's never yes. been there. And also behind me is actually the, the, the video wall, uh, the TV itself. And also, uh, what we can do is that we can actually project uh, PowerPoint onto this video wall. So with this PowerPoint, uh, or besides PowerPoint, we can also project a uh, video. Or we can actually bring out the participants of a video meeting uh, uh, into the wall itself. So we can also bring up other 3D objects into the virtual studio or into the augmented reality world itself. So we can actually bring up, like for example, a camera, a 3D objects camera. We can also bring up another objects like uh, a coronavirus. Or maybe in the business applications, we can also bring up an animated bar chart. So if you zoom into the bar charts, uh, you can actually see some shadowing effect. And so the same goes for the, the previous objects that we have brought up. 
So Derek is actually uh, visibly or visually actually with me in this studio. Derek, can you just move your leg yep. out a little bit? Yeah, huh. we can almost <laughs> touch each other. But yes. the thing is that Derek is not actually with me. Mm. Can we cut into Derek in his studio? Hello, hi everybody. I'm actually over here. So Derek is actually physically in a green screen studio and he is actually being teleported into this uh, physical world. And we also uh, uh, cut into our overlay for this uh, physical gallery. So you can see on the top right hand corner, that is actually the video of the physical world compared to what you are seeing in the uh, augmented reality world. The, lo the logo is not there in the real world. Mm -hmm. And in the real world itself, the TV is actually switched off. But what we do is that we actually insert a uh, virtual TV onto the wall itself to cover it so that we can actually display anything that we want to do uh, or display directly onto the TV. And let's bring out also the uh, BRC X1000 Sony camera. So can we also uh, at the same time zoom into the camera? So you can see on the overlay, there's nothing on the floor. But this camera is now uh, turning and rotating on the floor itself. Now all this is actually possible through the use of uh, Sony uh, BRC X1000 camera, which is actually a, a, a 3D protocol tracking camera. It sends data into our 3D engine, and on the 3D engine, we actually do a live rendering to actually show uh, the augmented reality uh, 3D objects in this world itself. So, to, in order to achieve this, of course, there's a lot of preparations that needs to be done. We need to measure the distance uh, between the camera and the talent in the two locations in this gallery as well as inside the green screen studio and we need to make sure that the lighting is uh, the same for both venues and make to make sure that the connections are also of good quality now with these preparations and with uh, sony camera and with our rekins uh, 3d software we can actually pull off a teleportation uh, of from a person on uh, the street studio mm -hmm. into this gallery. That's right. So here, this is actually how we do uh, teleportations. If you have any further questions or you have any, uh, or you want to do a live webinar to the similar mm -hmm. nature, uh, feel free to contact me at Michael Cole at Spring Forest Studio. Uh, or you can actually send us any questions or post any questions and we will actually answer them uh, separately. Thanks for joining us. And Derek, thanks. Thank you so much, Michael. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye.